Grade 5 math number 19, division with two-digit divisors and base 10 block units. All right, here's our base 10 block units. A lot of kids see them at school. If you haven't seen these before, I'll explain it. This is a big, huge block of 1,000, okay? This is a flat of 100, this is a long of 10, and that's one small cube. So you can imagine that there's a thousand of these little guys inside of here, okay? So in my math that I do, I'm going to use a blue square to represent the hundred and a long green bar to represent the long of ten and a little yellow square to represent the small cube, okay? As we, as we do this, all right? So to model the dividend 136, we can use various block units. We can use a 100 flat with three long tens to make 30, and then we can have six single ones, see? We can also do 13 tens, break this into tens, 10 tens, and then have our six ones, and then have 136 to have our dividend. We can also break it into 10 12 times, see? These are each 10, and we've got 12 of them. That makes 120. And then I took this last one, and I broke it up into 10 little yellow ones. So now I have, instead of 6 ones, I have 16 ones, okay? So by breaking the units up, it helped me see how they could be split into 4s for 136 divided by 4. I can put 3 tens and 4 single units in each group of 4, because I'm dividing it by 4, and I see that there's 34 in each one evenly. See? So 136 divided by 4 equals 34. I broke it up into 120 and 16 and then did my division. Okay? So just like in this one, we have 154 divided by 14, I want to make groups of 14. So I've got 14 tens and then I've got 14 ones. And what I'm going to do is each 10 that's in here I don't have my blue marker, but imagine that there's, you know, all these lines going across this way that are all tens, right? And each line is going to get matched with one single one in this bar. So that one's going to go to the first one. The second one's going to go to the second one. So instead of 10, they're each going to be 11, all right? And then that's going to be an 11, and that's going to be grouped to an 11. So is this one, and so is this one, all right? So 154 can be broken up into 140, which is 14 tens, and 14 ones. See? 140 and 14 ones. And they both can be divided by 14, like distributive. So 140 divided by 14 is this one, and 14 divided by 14, okay? 140 divided by 14 is 10, because 10 times 14 is 140. 14 divided by 14 is 1. So our answer is 11. And that's how many we were putting into each group. We had a 10 with one more. It was 11 for each one of them. So 154 divided by 14 is 11. So the blocks can help us. All right, how about this one? We have 192 divided by 12. Well, we want to put them into groups of 12. So I put 12 tens here, and then I broke one of the tens up into ones so that I could put two above each group of 10 here, see? So that that would be 12, that's 12, that's 12, that's 12, that's 12, and that's 12. And I've got six of them, and that made 72. So now 12 goes into 120, and 12 goes into 72, see that? So 120 divided by 12 is 10, and 72 divided by 12 is 6, because we have six groups here and 10 groups there, see? So, just like partial products can help when we're doing multiplication, partial quotients can help solve division problems, all right? I've got one last one. We've got 225 divided by 15. Now, I could have split it up this way, 100, 200, two tens, and five ones, but that won't help me divide it by 15. I need to break them up into groups of 15. So, I have 15 tens here, all right, and then I took a couple of the long bar tens and broke them up into ones, a few of them, so that I got five tens here, but
but 25 ones. And then that way I was able to put five singles with each bar. And then I was able to get five of them. It totaled 75 because there's 25 here and 50 here. So I have 150 plus 50 plus 25. So I have my 225, but they're each in groups of 15. So the 150 plus the 75 divided by 15 ends up being 150 divided by 15 and 75 divided by 15. And then I've got 10 and 5. That's 15. 225 divided by 15 is 15. So now you can see how the base 10 block units can help us. And if you don't have the blocks, you can make your own. You can just make a red one to represent a thousand. And it could be a flat sheet of paper, but if it's red, you'll know it's a thousand. You can make a little bit smaller blue one to be the hundred, a green bar like this to be the ten, and you can make little yellow squares to be ones, and then you can make your own base ten blocks. Okay? So we're going to continue talking about division and partial products. I hope this helped you understand how two-digit divisors can go into a bigger number, and I'll see you next video. Bye.